I'm not gonna get into too many details, so let's just yeah. get here in this in this finals. <laughs> so in the blue, in the left, in the top team, we have Kazix, Party Heart Taylor, Blade, Mistress Morgana. My friend told me to. Okay, we're in the game and it's starting. Perfect. Are you at zero? Yes. I awesome. Yes. So we're five, six, right, seven, cool. eight, nine, ten. Mm. Out ten. All right. So we're about the same time. So that that, that should yeah. be good. All right. Uh, leave it in directed camera, so we don't have any like problems with it. You know what I mean? So we'll just kind of do whatever. Oh, leave it at directed camera. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of want to go manual. You wanna do manual? All right. I'm gonna do manual. So you take the overlay. Off. All right. So uh, let's let's talk about the team comps for a minute since we didn't really get to see the draft. So on the left team we got Kazix, Morgana, Yasuo, Ari. That's a pretty ballsy team given the current meta. Ezreal, as um, they have a lot of damage, a lot of CC, a lot, of, uh, and they definitely have uh, setups to for the Yasuo knockups, but. Uh, really squishy unless they go for like bruiserish builds, the Yasu and the Kazix. But even then, compared to the right side team, you got a really good utility AD carry with the with the Varus. You got the Zyra. You got Zyra with the roots and and the roots, and then the follow up with the either the Nautilus or the or the Rek'Sai, and then you got the Orianna for the Wombo combo since they're gonna be like just stunning everyone all over the place. I really like uh, the draft from the red team, uh, but well, w I mean, we gotta watch and see how this game goes. Nautilus a very strong pick in the current meta, so uh, let's see how the Yasuo handles him in the top lane, and Rek'Sai, just the, the queen of the jungle. She's been nerfed time and time again, and she still sees a lot of a lot of play and competitive. Uh, rocking that, uh, what's it called? What is the name of that skin for the Rek'Sai? Uh, Eternum. Eternum, yeah, so rocking the Eternum, Eternum skin. Yeah, the Eternum Rek'Sai skin. Solid, solid, solid. And we're about to start, the lanes are in position. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, so, like my buddy George has said, um, we have AD carry bot lane as, or from the blue team, we have uh, Ezreal and Morgana. My prediction on this map is, or on this matchup is that, uh, the Ezreal lane sh should play safe. They're gonna lose early because, uh, uh, Varus has a lot of poke and so does Zara, so they have a really oppressive lane. Um, but, uh, in the late game, I, I sh Ezreal should be, uh, should be better in terms of the mid, mid yeah. to late game. Once he's done stacking his uh, mana meter. Yeah, of course. Which... Whenever he gets his uh, Mura mana yeah. and, and all that fiasco. So, in, in my opinion, I think blue, blue, blue side has the bot lane matchup in terms of mid lane. I'm not a mid laner, but uh, I know that Oriana has a very fast wave clear. And uh, <coughs> I feel like the red Oriana should be able to win this matchup just through sheer... Um, Sheer wave clear as well as shielding from her E. Yeah. Uh, the jungle matchup, uh, my buddy George will go ahead and fill that in. Uh, All right. Do you think he's gonna win, George? Well, so uh, right now Rex is in a real bit, uh, a bit of a rough spot just because of the armor nerfs. Uh, if this, if this jungler knows how to scout for the Kha'Zix, how she's doing right now, so she's warding, really good ward there. Uh, if the Rek'Sai really uses her passive to the best of her advantages, then she should not have an issue with the Kha'Zix. If they fight it straight uh, head to head, I think the Kha'Zix will win a straight up fight in the early game, even though Rek'Sai is known for being good in the early game, but Kha'Zix's damage is just absolutely insane because of that isolation damage. Uh, in terms of the match matchup, it just, uh, if they if they meet each other, I think Kha'Zix would win. Oh, here, wait, here, we got, oh, and the flash knockup from the Rek'Sai, oh, and we got... Oh, oh, did they get it? Oh. Wow, and the Ari really, really good with the trade with the poke oh, trade back, wow. and she survives. Wow. Really, really. Wow, that was a really good outplay by. Yeah, really good outplay uh, from Ari. the from the Ari. Oh wow. Yeah. So as long as so so as I was I was so I was saying as of the junglers, I really think the that utility wise, Rexai has more, but pick and assassination potential, Kha'Zix obviously would win that. So it just depends on how these junglers treat their treat their characters, and let's see and. And like use it to the utmost potential. Oh, really good poke from the blue side. Oh, and the huge burst damage from Varus going into the Morgana in the top, in the bot lane. Oh, uh, we also have uh, Nalus using his TP to gain back into lane. But yeah, in terms of the, the top lane matchup, uh, I feel that if uh, Nalus gets his Sunfire Cape or Bambi Cinder, uh, that lane is basically over yep. in my opinion. Yep. But uh, we'll see how that plays out. Though. Yeah, I, I really don't know what the Yasuo is going to build, but if the if the Yasuo doesn't get a gank or does anything to is like pretty much like uh, starve the Nautilus from farm, uh, starve the Nautilus of farm, and I, the Nautilus is doing a really good job. I think he's going to just keep this freeze right here where it is. All you need is four minions, and yeah, if he just stays right here, I think the, the Yasuo isn't really going to be able to do like stop him from farming, so... 
Unless he just shoves and shoves the wave so that he can like maybe lose them under the wave. On under tower. Under tower. So uh we just need to see what happens. Really a lot of poke here coming from the bot lane and the Thunderlord procking on the Ezreal. Uh so far the Ezreal is Oh my god, and the damage done to the Yasuo, I missed it. Did you see that? Uh I did not. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Yasuo is really low. I did not know what this. Yeah, I, uh, what probably happened is that uh, he had minion advantage, or Nalus had minion advantage, and he just took too much aggro. Yeah. That's probably what just happened. <clears throat> More than um, likely, that right. that that passive damage from the Nautilus can really catch you off guard, because it's it's a lot of damage early. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the bot lane, uh, gold is fairly equal. Do you know the setting but, uh, to do you know the setting cuz I can see the number the amount of CS that they have but I can't really see the amount of gold cuz there used to be an option be, uh, for that. Oh? No, oh oh oh, oh, oh zero. Oh, oh, oh. will bring it up but I don't know how much gold they have. It it, sh it shows in parentheses. Uh, parentheses. Like the numbers in parentheses that's how much gold they have in total. And the ones that are outside the parentheses those are the current gold they yeah, have. Yeah, but I, parentheses where though? Sorry. Uh Cause I only see like 37 CS, 37 CS, 32 CS. Oh really? Uh, I just have, I don't know. My HUD's kind of weird, mm. but uh, I'll, I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep you in touch with. All that. right. So what's the gold? What are the gold numbers looking in the bot lane? Uh, in the bot lane, we have basically, um, basically the blue, the red side winning in, in gold with roughly 2k. While 2k, uh, what? No way. Oh no, there's 2k gold while the blue side roughly has around 8, uh, 1.8k. So oh okay, so 200 gold. So they're, 200 lo gold. they're losing 200 gold, but it's it is expected. Ooh. I mean, Ezreal will lose in, in CS. Oh, it looks like there's a trade going on in the top lane. The uh, Yasuo going in know. hard, but the Nautilus still putting out a lot of damage. Ooh, and it looks like the Yasuo. Oh, and the Exhaust is gonna get oh, it. And first blood going for the Yasuo in the top lane. Really? Oh wow. The oh, Nautilus goodness. thought that he could take it, but I think that was way too much minion aggro. As you can see, the whole buildup of the oh, wave. Oh wow, that was, uh, <coughs> that, was that was ambitious from the Nautilus. <laughs> very ambitious from very, the Nautilus. Very ambitious from the Nautilus. Oh, it looks like the Ari is rotating bot lane to go for a gank, but it looks oh, like have, she's. Oh, we have both the jungler and the Ari going down bot lane. Let's see what they they can do. All right, well they see that through good ward coverage and. Yeah, the oh, scuttlecrab scuttle probably picked. Yeah, the scuttlecrab probably picked on her, and they also have a ward here in the in the river bush. So I don't think the, I don't think the Ari could have gotten to them in time either way. Really good warding from the from the red team. They have the yes. entire river warded, the bushes warded. They have uh, the Rexai uh, who put the ward on the enemy junglers team, and the enemy junglers like earlier. Oh, there it is. Oh, press X. Press X. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Okay, so now we can see the gold values, because I was struggling with that in the previous yes. game that I casted. Um, so, like we said, uh, Ezreal will lose in in a little bit of gold and a little bit of CS. I mean, he caught up somehow, but uh, he is a little behind in gold. Oh, no, <coughs> but um, Ezreal has his, his tier stacking, so it's only a matter of time before... Ooh, Ezreal where's the Rexa going to go? Ooh, yeah. this might not be good for the... This, could, this might not be good here. Ooh, and uh, Kha'Zix is forced to retreat. Will they collapse oh. on him? Oh, are they gonna go back? Oh, it looks like they're gonna go for the re-engage. This could be juicy. Let's see what. This, let's see how this goes. Ooh, the Rek'Sai leaving, and the bot lane. Yo, that's unfortunate. The bot lane is had just recently back, so that's oh, a really, wow. really good, really good invade from the blue team. And the Rek'Sai is forced to leave and just keep her farming going. Oriana try to help out, but it's just a, it's a yeah, four, it four to way too yeah. late of a, of a yeah. rotation. Ooh, this is a little bit of a, little bit of a risky play in my opinion. They know that they took the blue, uh, the Rek'Sai, the Rek'Sai probably, since since the laners aren't back, they can probably just suspect that they're coming, oh, is she going to go for the steal? And she and she got rooted, I think she, uh, okay, yeah, if she didn't get root there, I think she, oh, and she's oh, probably wow. going to, oh, and the really oh, hard wow, engage, oh, oh, and she, he survives, oh, the red buff, red buff, red buff, and the red buff, yeah, jump in the buff, oh, is he going to die? Damn, oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of damage coming in from the, oh, and the Ari going in with the ult, going in. Oh, Oriana going in with a shockwave, catching the Ezreal. Really good catch, and that's a two for two. So, yeah, gold thirteen point oh, five to twelve point eight. I think I still think the blue team got a little bit more value out of that because they got the. I mean, well, let's see who who. Yes, who has they did. They did get the dragon, but uh, they did. I mean, blue team was already ahead, or I mean, blue team was behind. And oh, the Nautilus killed Yasuo. A little bit more behind. The Nautilus killed Yasuo. What happened? Oh, whoa, 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 what happened there? Let me just go back a little bit. No, don't do it. Then we're going to be, like, all mixed up. No, 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 we won't. No, no. Oh, Wait. wow. 
Dorn shields OP. <laughs> <laughs> does he really only have a Dorn shield? Oh, and two. Uh, okay, and two cloth two armor. Cloth armors, but I mean, uh, like, still, that doesn't justify three. how. Holy, <laughs> holy heck! Uh, it's mainly the. I mean, what's if Nautilus is maxing W, which he's not. He's maxing E. Wow. So that's how he probably be. Uh, yeah, more damage. Up. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. A lot of right? damage. Yeah. Uh, so. Going back to the bot lane, uh, bot lane's losing in a, in a lot of CS, and that's probably because the pressure I mean, that the Rexa. It's, it's the Ezreal matchup. Ezreal needs to stack, and, and yeah, yeah, so she, it's obviously going to be pretty bad. But in terms of CSing, but it's really understandable. He's going to bounce back easily since there's just back. If he could shove this, which he's not, uh, plus Ezreal doesn't have the power to push yeah. since he's pulled down as well. So that's pretty unfortunate. But you know. Uh, he, uh, that, yeah, Ezreal will bounce back in the mid tonight. So we have Gospel roaming. Ooh, that damage uh, from the Orianna mid lane. Be, this could be really good or really bad. Oh, the engage, the hard engage on the Orianna and the knockup oh, from the Rexa wow. trying oh, to peel and the ultimate going in. Oh, Ooh, and that really Orianna good flash, flash, but, oh, the really oh, good wow. flash from the Orianna. The, the led Jukarino. Is he gonna ult? He's gonna probably gonna ult. He's gonna ult. Yeah, he's gonna ult. Oh my god, the tank. No damage. Oh, the Orianna dies. The Nautilus is probably dead here. Yep. Wow. That's really unfortunate for blue or red team. It's very, very unfortunate. Very, very. actually making a comeback to to this game. Yeah, they pretty much they pretty much evened up the gold advantage here, but it's not all. It's all up to the Ezreal whether he can catch up or not. So, um, so yeah. But I think his team has enough damage to where they can to where they can like just try to yeah, like try to snowball early and then uh, have the Ezreal uh, take over in the mid to late yeah, game. Yeah, Ezreal is, is going to take time to ramp, so probably at around uh, twenty five minutes. minutes. Is it is, is it twenty five? Like usually it's twenty five minutes when the mana I mean, is fully stacked, right? Uh, but like you know, I'm garbage at this game and I play eighty <laughs> so like, I get out like thirty minutes. <laughs> I'm garbage at this game. Oh, we have an engage at the bot lane. Oh, Morgana hits the snap, but he... Oh, and the Ezreal going hard. Oh, too much damage going in. If he's, he's he going to get the stock stat? Oh, is he going to get the proc? Oh, and, oh, wow. oh no, oh, and the flash? The nah. Oh, and Bold. And the Varus gets the kill. Oh, oh is it going to oh. happen? Nope. Very close, very close. Oh, the Ezreal looked like he hesitated for a minute there. I think he's just, he yes, just, uh, just... He should have just committed, even taking tower shots for the Zyra. If he was going to be in that deep, because there was no way he was getting out of that. Yeah, correct. I mean, he wasn't even going to take any tower shots. I mean, he, if he just... If oh, he what? Just, look at uh, look at the Rek'Sai. Oh, Rek'Sai invading. Oh, my God. Right <laughs> under his nose. Did it just come up, or why did he that, do... Uh, Vision is really good at this game. Wow. How did he... Uh, oh, wow. He's, he's, going he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh. Oh, wow. The tunnel? Tunnel? Just a tunnel? Oh, tunnel. Tunnel. Q? Oh, Q, Q, Q? Ah. Uh, Oh. oh, that's unfortunate. Well, that was very close for the Kha'Zix, but uh, that's unfortunate. We have we have bot lane rotating, which is not terribly bad. But uh, let's go back to the top lane. Top lane continuing to uh, to freeze. I mean, this is Brett is great. He's part of my team. Hey, Justin, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Say if hi. If you do, if you did, if you do get to read this. Wow, here. the the Nautilus is just like not losing health. Oh wow! And, oh uh, well, now he did. A very even trade. From, yeah, uh, but it's because oh, the, wow. the, the the Nautilus wasn't really doing. Oh my god, that damage! Oh wow! He's oh, and the crazy. ultimate with the armor oh, pen. The, oh, it crit, oh, no, so that's the armor pen. Oh, oh, oh under wow. tower. Oh no, he's just right. Oh wow! Oh, oh. oh his did all really did that cancels the ult if he dies. I didn't know that. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Oh, we I, have a bot lane. Oh, we had we hit. Uh, we going oh, in. Hit the bind. We're gonna we going in. We going in. He is ulting. Uh, oh, and she stopped. Flash. And the oh, exhaust. He, he already flashed. Can he do this? And, uh, more autos. Oh, more autos. Right. Oh, that damage. Oh, Holy yeah. damage from the red team. Uh, they should have committed a little bit harder, but I mean, they. Holy damage Varys from the bot lane. Varus has had more damage than Ezreal because he was two and zero prior to it, and he had a Yomu, So that's yeah. very unfortunate. Now he's going to be able to get tower. Just red teams just looking. Yeah, really I, feel, nice. I feel like that's a general AD carry mentality where you have to just like go ham whenever you see opportunities. But I mean, Ezreal is just one. It's probably one of the few AD carries that you just have to be patient. Oh, wait, just gotta, wait, oh, oh, wait, oh, oh, and she goes oh, down, wait, and the shockwave oh, is, is the outplay. No, too much damage. Oh, wow. Cons and and are make, making this game uh, pretty close. Man, this game is very. Games. This is a very fun game, in my opinion. Oh, a lot of fights count going constantly. It's already eight to seven. And we're fourteen minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna. This is gonna be a really bumpy ride. <laughs> 
And now in terms of scaling, Rexa is gonna fall hard at around like 30 to 35 minutes when she's around the 12, 13 level mark. And uh, Nautilus is just gonna be unkillable. Yasuo could be a god depending on how this goes. Um, Kha'Zix is gonna just one shot like any squishy. But again, they have two very tanky characters on the other side and a lot of protection with the Zyra roots and it, uh, well, assuming she lands her skill shots, but I mean, uh, you just gotta assume that, like, everything's gonna be landed. Correct. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, the sneaky, oh, so oh, close in the mid lane. So, so oh much damage. Gosh, that was... Oh my god, so much damage really from Varus. Right now, I'm just uh, uh, yeah, so going to the build path, I mean, armor pen Varus, I feel like it's way better than crit Varus. Yeah. You're just well, gonna have your, your poke often so much, so I feel like poke, uh, poke Varus is good. Uh, what do you feel about the Kha'Zix and uh, Rek'Sai builds? The build, so, well, standard for the Kha'Zix, standard Kha'Zix, so it's Warrior into, it looks like, so Lifesteal. Mm, I am not entirely sure what item he's building, he's going for, since he built a Vampiric Scepter early. Uh, so many things that he could build, and the Rek'Sai rushing the Titanic Hydra for more damage. I would typically do that if you were ahead, but it doesn't look like she's, well, in terms of CS, she's definitely ahead of the Kha'Zix, but the Kha'Zix has more kills. Um, yeah. And I think she's just looking to do more damage a lot early. Uh, since since yeah. that's since that's when that's when you push your advantage with Rek'Sai, uh, of course. Uh, they're just very standard builds. I'm pretty sure she's gonna go Cinder Hulk and then full tank after that. Probably a Randuin yeah, since they definitely. have a since they have a Yasuo for the crit and mm -hmm. and they and she actually just finished. Uh, ooh 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 spicy. Titanic ooh oh, and, and she, yeah or proc 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 and yeah. dead. And yeah, that was yeah. very ambitious by the Yasuo, but. I mean, I don't think. It, I, so why not go I mean, I don't think it was his fault. He fought him at a choke, which I mean, again, he, you're fighting a Nautilus, which is a pretty, pretty ballsy of. A, I mean, he is, he is beating him, 119 to 98, and he hasn't yeah, even finished course. his Sunfire Cape. And oh, a and a team fight in the bot the lane. Zyra goes down, but oh, the old Prox. Ooh, really wow. good for the, really good for the zoning. Oh, and he flashed the oh, preemptive well, flash. Uh, Ezreal flash and. The arrow You're going out from the Varus. Walk away from. Oh wait, Zyra. Sidestepping oh, everything. Oriana is just ghosting. Oh wait, if he can. Land oh this. nope, nope. Wait. Oh, I think they're just gonna get the oh, Ezreal back. Away. Is she dead? Oh, really the shockwave. Oh, 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 catching two people and the follow up and everyone in the blue team is dead. Oh that man, the red team just beautifully coordinated <laughs> they're showing a little bm there. what a beautiful wombo combo there so for those of you people that uh could not catch that very well the oriana managed to get the shockwave on two people uh on three, knocking yeah on, on three people okay catching on thank you catching on three people immediately with the follow-up from nautilus knocking them up even more and then the rex are not so like permanent cc and the varus had just enough the varus and the or Hold on, sorry, I'm a little bit excited here, but the, the Varus <laughs> and the Rek'Sai just doing a lot of damage, finishing the entire team off. Uh, being so early in the game that it is, uh, the, they're already back up, but 31.2 to 27.28k, so the red team is uh, here with a 3k lead, 3k gold lead, so it looks like, it looks like it's uh, it's snowballing a little bit for the red team, but again, the, yeah, of course. yeah, so, but I still feel that, they, that the blue team has a bit of a better scaling team, in, uh, so it all depends on how patient the blue team is in these team fights because once the Nautilus and Rexa become unkillable then it's all gonna depend on the on the on the carries to kill their carries in order for them to win those team fights. Uh, in terms of split pushing you could probably go with the Kha'Zix or the Yasu if you want to go for a, like maybe like a 1-4 or a 1-3-1 uh, which would be another another way to like put pressure on the map because the red team seem to be really in control of this match. Yeah definitely. Uh, in terms of uh, if they do, if let's say if both blue and red team do uh, group, um, we see that I'm sure obviously that the red team is obviously going to win. But I mean, Yasuo could magically get a three five man knock up, or maybe a three man, and possibly change this game around. Um, we see that uh, red team is going to be sieging towards mid, which is a perfect idea, and like. But I like how uh, blue team is responding with this, with the Morgana going mid and then letting the Ezreal continuously farm because he is really far behind. But he's stacking his tier, so he's at 412 right now. So about 25 minutes, he will get that. Oh wait, wait, wait we have a fight in the mid lane, and the, the Yasuo going in hard, and he, oh my, oh and she gets to do it instantly, missing the Q. Oh, the ultimate lands on the Yasuo and gets to do it with the shockwave coming oh, afterwards. Man. The Ari doesn't know what to do. She gets to lead it as well. They're they're really oh, pushing for this. The Cosmic jumps, and that is. That, that is three for that's a that three for one. That, yeah, by the, the blue team. Yeah, so that's a so they're really behind. But I mean, the Yasuo. I, I, I want to call it the Yasuo syndrome, where they all think they can one v five. So she, he goes in and deletes the character, but gets caught by the Varus ult, and the immediate follow up from the Lotus and the Oriana is just way too much for. 
for the blue team to react even quick enough for a trade. That yeah, was just... I, I'm going to have to agree. And I feel like they were very ambitious with that because Ezreal was still farming bot lane. Mm -hmm. So they they knew that it was a 4v5, but I guess the pick or the Morgana Vine was really good on the Zyra to, to go in on it. But, I mean, every kill counts. Uh, for for blue team so that they're gonna continuously gain gold whenever you're behind you Ooh. you really want to try to get uh, kills just to get gold. So I think that I'm uh, I think that I'm seeing that the Ezreal's not doing is he should be spamming Q and E and Q and W at e every point of the match. He's at 440 yeah. out of 750 at 20 minutes. I really don't think he's gonna be hitting that because he's about halfway done with his mana immune. But if he's I don't think he's gonna hit that halfway mark if he doesn't start spamming some abilities. I mean, I mean, like, uh, whenever you're in lane, uh, you really don't want to spam your E because it, it's the most mana as well as W. I mean, you can spam Q and W, but, I mean, it, he just had a really rough lane and the S was just having too much damage on him, thus he couldn't poke with it, with his Q. So, relatively in a perfect world, uh, Ezreal would just Q and just get uh, stacks that way, but... He was oppressed so much by the Zara and Verus that he couldn't do that. So it's um, it's very rough for the Ezreal, and he's going to get his uh, Muram, Muram mana as well as his Ice Worm, probably around, roughly, or not roughly around the same time. But Ooh, the really good uh, invade and all the a really good invade from the Rexa and dodging like three different skill shots. Holy crap. Oh, and he gets it. Except for that one. And I jinxed That's him. That's free gold for Morgana. <laughs> yep, and I jinxed him. Spell teams. <laughs> Spell teams. Spell Thieves is the best. Uh, will, the, will the Yasuo dive the Nautilus? No, I don't think he will, but man. I have a feeling he's going to do it. <laughs> if he lands... I mean, why not, dude? Yasuo has 100% uh, crit. I mean, yep, at this point. Crit's the best crit to have. I really don't know whose bright idea was to give him, like, double crit. Like, that is just... He's he's at 100% crit right now. That's that's just a lot of damage this early on. Like, Screw Yasuo, okay? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's all I'm oh. saying. I'm keeping it PG. I'm keeping it PG for the, like uh, the the children watching and this. The, and I feel like everyone on the red team is very ahead. I mean, Rexai is almost two times as far as the Kha'Zix. Ooh, and the flash out of the Morgana, almost, almost getting wrecked there. And obviously, Varus is having eight kills over the Ezreal and having relatively close farm. Oh, they're gonna go for this Yasuo. Wait, are they gonna go for this Yasuo? Oh yeah, th yeah, this Yasuo is probably. is three K gold behind, so. This, this Yasuo really is probably dead. Oh, yeah. Yasuo is most likely oh. dead. Oh, you might get Nautilus with him? Nope. Can he get out? No, uh, I don't think he's going to get out. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. That was and the true damage from the E. Oh. Uh, yet again, just... I mean, but that's probably their only way in winning because everyone, everywhere else is getting oppressed and they have to play around Yasuo. Yeah, but so I mean... I yeah. think in, with blue team, the... the the thing that they would have to do is probably, work, like I said, work around Yasuo, but that's really hard since the comp isn't made for Yasuo. They have no tanks, and they're really just on a pick comp. So, uh, But for the red team, um, they're just steamrolling this game. I mean, they really have... I'm curious on what this various damage is going to be. Uh, he missed, unfortunately. Oh my god, he's 8-0. I, I just... I just... Much, uh, how much health... Mm -hmm. Oh my... He's eight and oh, I just saw. He has the Edge of Night bit, like done in the Yomu's Ghost Blade, and he's probably going for. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh man, if he had blue buff, this game would be uh, this game would be a poke. Fight. Has the has the and... Kha'Zix not come back? Uh, much? He has sure. he has fifteen. Yes. Oh, okay. He has 1,500 gold. And, yeah, but, he has but, 1,500 gold. And he's yeah, but looking, but looking at his items, I feel like he's not. He doesn't have like that much gold. Oh, in the armor pen. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Because I mean, look at. Oh, and wow, actually. The Nautilus going down. Yeah. Yeah. The Nautilus stayed for too long. Like he, he, he still had the the lost health that he had from the from the previous fight, and he just kept pushing the wa like shoving the wave. Uh, okay. And they also just came back to lane and killed him. So that's uh, okay. that's all. That's 100% Nautilus's fault. He should have probably so, uh, back. I was just wondering if. Uh, as, a, as a tank player, uh, would you have still rushed the Sunfire King for the extra damage, or would you? For Yasuo? Oh no, I would have gone Randuins. Oh, would uh, I would I would have gone Randuins, yeah, for sure. Uh, like yeah, when, I a, when I fight when I fight when yeah when I fight a, when I fight a Trindomir or Yasuo top lane, especially I mean, especially since he's more than likely gonna be shoving and like because he's just a really like an early game bully, I would have definitely rushed the Randuins and the. Oh wow, Yasuo gonna try to. Yasuo, oh no, this Yasuo's gonna get wrecked. 
Yeah. Oh wow. Rex is gonna kill him probably. Oh wait, there's there's a small chance in oh, okay. Oh, okay, and the blue team going to push for the doing a push for this oh, is a really No, oh, did they take oh, it? Oh, oh almost oh, with the steal but the smite very OPOP. Close, very close on that one. Yep. Uh, really good call on that since they saw that the, their jungler was in the top lane, so so that's probably yeah, the, that that's a really very smart very smart call. really smart call from the blue team. Oh, oh. This just really just looks one sided here. Yeah. That's, oh wow! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that was godlike, godlike, godlike. Really That's all I have to say. Good overall, just good communication there. Ah, uh, this this Kha'Zix <laughs> just seems to be like just getting caught by every skill shot that's like landed on him. And oh my God, half of her health on one Q. <laughs> and the slow spell oh, wow, of going in. Oh wait, okay. Oh my goodness, the damage. Oh, wait, is, can this, can it happen? Yeah, she's dead. Oriana gonna, oh wow, yeah. Oriana, got, Ori, Oriana died, but... I mean, losing Yasuo's flash like that... I'm, oh, oh, and she big hits him with the tip! And the knock up! Is, I don't think, I don't think that's what it means gonna do anything wrong. Oh, He's wow. definitely... Oh, oh wow! This Yasuo, I mean, the mechanics... The mechanics... Oh, wow, Yasuo lives and... That Yasuo lives and gets a huge chunk of everyone else's health. Uh, a kill for someone, but oh, oh this, this Yasuo mechanics is he gonna go down? Oh, really wait. ambitious, and the shield. Oh, oh, oh and the heal, not enough. Uh, uh, we have a bind for uh, on Rex side just to stop and disengage, but but I felt like they should have took that fight a little bit earlier and could have coordinated with that better because Varus has just back. So yeah, I, mean, I feel like I feel like they. I mean, no, yeah, the, the Yasuo, the oh, Yas. Yeah, the, well, the Yasuo got caught, and he's like their main initiation tool because they really don't have an initiator on their, like a, a true initiator on their team. Uh, they are really squishy. The Kha'Zix can't really go in, or he gets blown the hell up. Uh, or the Yasuo goes in, and he also gets blown the hell up. So you really Correct. can't. So you really can't. So you really have to play around your strongest player, who right now it shows it's probably the Yasuo. Uh, he's committing a little bit too hard for these fights, and the team, the, his team, isn't really uh, grouping properly around him, which I think is, I think is yeah. what is killing them. Uh, if they really let this game drag out, the tanks are just gonna get unkillable, and with you know the you know the, the beautiful yeah, this, tank, this the beautiful. Gonna look. Yeah, this this game is looking is looking from the beginning. I said that the the like did I not say that the red teams uh, comp looked a little bit stronger? Yeah, really. The red, like, I totally agree because I mean they obviously they just had tanks. That's one thing, but I mean, just looking at the bot lane, uh, they had bot lane has a, at this. In my opinion, I feel like in this uh, season, uh, the way they're supposed to play the bot lane is that whoever has the most oppressive comp wins. And yeah. so, and Zyra obviously the, one of the most oppressive laners yeah. uh, that has that, and Zyra oh, being really good. Oh my god, and he oh, lands the ultimate. Oh, but the really good Zonius. My goodness. Is he That's gonna get... Really good zone, yes. Ooh, really, really good from Hawkshot there. Hawk strike. Holy, don't... don't you know what? That's my teammate there, buddy. Dude, okay, <laughs> hello. Are, are you really gonna call me out for that right now, Jason? <laughs> I, w let's try to be professional here. I made a mistake, and I corrected it. Please do oh, not... Yeah, dude, like, uh, like those two uh, NA casters that just spanked, uh, spanked a dude's ass in uh, public television. Uh, uh, I don't know this man. Totally professional. I, I don't know who this man is. I've never <laughs> met him. In, I, I've never met him in my life. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, the preemptive redemption going in, pretty good. Uh, uh, it looked wow, like it looked like they were gonna hard really engage. Not, uh, this could be very scary if Kha'Zix can just uh, potentially one shot him, then this game could could potentially turn around. Oh, he's gonna oh, go yeah, for the hard engage. Yasuo going in or the hard engage. Oh, is he gonna go down? Oh, the really good. The Kha'Zix, oh, Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix, Kha oh, is he going to flash from? Yeah, so they're committing a... Th oh, and he's dead. Yeah, they oh. committed a little too hard for the Varus. And Nautilus, of course, being the unkillable and, uh, beast that he yeah, is. And yeah, this this turned around really... At this point. Oh, wow, oh yeah, the Kha'Zix yeah, actually wow. gets him. Everyone's oh, so low. Can Kha'Zix do this? Can Kha'Zix do this? Oh, uh, wait. Okay, Kha'Zix got two. We got the Rek'Sai 1v3-ing, I think. Oh, my God. But Rex is just... Mana Immune's complete. I really don't think... Oh, oh, he missed... Is she going to get the mock-up? No. Is, is he gonna go down? And W. And W. And W. And he got him. Is she dead? Oh wow, she's gonna Wow, live. and she lives. This Rek'Sai is just calculated. Just 1v3ing and knowing knowing her limitations goes in and just knocks everyone out. That was really smart engage from the Rek'Sai there. Why can't I play Rek'Sai like that, Jason? If only the Kha'Zix... I mean, like, he was exhausted and melted, but if the Kha'Zix would have just... If, you, if he would have uh, uh, one shot at the Varus, then they would have won instantaneously. Or like, I feel like they would that team fight would have been one sided because I mean you didn't have to worry about Varus and then Kha'Zix could have helped the 
what's his name? The the Yasuo. The yeah. The. <laughs> I'm sorry, your inner Asian is coming out, Jason. <laughs> And uh, that's why we don't follow Thinky. That's why he doesn't get any donations. <laughs> I don't get any donations because no one knows who I am, all right? You got to spread the love, man. Get got to promote the, challenge, the channel. I'm, I think I'm a pretty good caster, if I do say so myself. Uh, I'm not, I'm not pretty good. Oh! Sure and I don't know if that was being BM, but the Ezreal just stole the Raptor camp from the Kha'Zix. And the old, just a wave clear. Yeah, you really do not want to have... Uh, these waves so close to your to your tower uh, this late in the game because then the, the the red team has just like free rotations wherever they want because they know that the blue team's gonna have to respond to them if not they they're gonna be doing push for inhibs and this yasu uh i really don't know if they can hold and the hard engage oh and a really good and a really good a really good zonia stopping both the nautilus and the varisol so that's two ults down so this could be really beneficial for the blue team uh they're defending is where's the yasu the yasu back let's see what he bought what's he buying he bought a hex drinker. He bought a hex drinker. Possibly scaling up, but he's not doing enough damage. I mean, he has the items. He has. He he finished the Muramana, but I really don't know if uh, I feel like. I mean, Ezreal does have a fallout point. He's really good in the mid game. So right now we need to oh, see. What a good one to yeah, I, we need to see. Oh my goodness! See this. Yeah, this Yasuo has the mechanics. He has just. He just doesn't have like uh the like the engage or the team to follow up, or to engage to init initiate with him. It's a problem that I'm having with Master Yi, you know, a very high mechanically skilled champion, but I can't really do anything because <laughs> if there is no tank, I'm just going to go in there 1v5 and like pray to pray for pray wow, to dear life that I, I catch someone. someone. Wow, and the in the in the shove top from Yasuo doing worry, they might get that tower hope, hopefully like giving them giving the blue team a little bit of gold so they can like get a little bit of more items because they're they're not it's not looking good. It's 55k to 49 to uh, well, pretty much 49.9 so 50. So they still have about a and the Rexai taking away that blue. Yeah, 56 to 50. So that's a, exactly a 6k lead from the red team. So they're really behind uh, the good old math major. Good old math major. Yes. Coming in clutch. All right, Kha'Zix, uh, I mean, if you can't if you if you don't know how to subtract, that's not even being math major. I really I really don't know what you are if you don't know what if you don't if you don't know what how to subtract that. Yeah, I mean, they have the advantage and it's really good to zone them out cuz look 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 right here. They're, they're going they're, yeah, they're going for the dragon play. Oh, is the fight breaking out? Fight him. Fight him, Nautilus. Oh, nope, never mind. I, I take it back. Oh, oh. Don't listen to me, Nautilus. Wow, that damage. Oh, and yeah, and the red team got the and, dragon. Uh, red team just again pushing their lead. I really dragon. want, the, I really want this Nautilus to get Iceborne. Like, I feel like if he had that item, he probably would have wrecked the Nautil the 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 Yasuo. Just not enough damage That's in my opinion. Stacking too much armor. I feel like what he has is good. He does enough damage. In my opinion, I would have I would have maxed W first, just because like, I mean, in my opinion, I feel like the the Nautilus is. Like, you can't just fight Yasuo anymore. I mean, he, it's a fighter versus a tank. It's yeah. not going to happen. So, what he should, in my opinion, what I would have done, it was just max W to survive as long as possible. Just, uh, you know, kind of stay alive instead of, like, uh, trying to do the damage with the E. But, you know, that was a, um, you know, his, I mean, he has 10 assists, so he's obviously doing something right. So, and. You don't, you don't know anything, Jason. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> we have fun here. Ezreal ulting. And, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I'm not taking sure this. why they're not, uh, they should pressure Baron, I feel like. I feel yeah. like the red team is very strong enough to to uh, to pressure yeah. this Baron. I mean, yep. Orianna has three items above uh, Ari. Um, Rexai oh. has almost four. The Ezreal, oh my god, the Ari, what was with that? What did she get? Oh, oh a really good dodge. Oh, oh and that one of them goes down. The Zyra's probably gonna go down. Can the Zyra go down? Will the Zyra go down? Oh, one Murado! She lives. And the Nautilus tanking. And all the damage. Oh, and he dies. This is a barren play. This, this is a barren play. This is a barren play. Is a play. But they have to. They have to play the smart because they're actually okay. No, never mind. They got the. They, they got yeah. They got all the fruit. They got all the fruit from the plant. So this is good. I mean, they're missing one, but I mean. Now the only on the only thing, I actually think that dude, I actually think this Rexai. Yeah, I actually think this Rexai is she gonna go for it? Oh, and he misses the she missed the snipe. She uh, too early. Oh my gosh, she gonna kill them all? No way, she gonna kill them all. But Rexai doing a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, she's gonna kill them all. One v the team. Rexai's gonna kill them all. No way. And he gets hit by the. And the NA flash. And the NA flash. 
Oh my Rexite, Rexite, Rexite gets away. Oh, oh my goodness. Was that a flash from Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not questioning oh, this anymore. Really this is we are you gotta remember Jason, we are in North America. Okay? <laughs> a lot of boosted play will happen, especially since like this isn't even LCS, okay? So you gotta expect the, the boosted bonobo plays that we make uh, right, at it right. every game. Every game. So going back to the game, uh wow this this might be a good comeback for the blue team because top or Ezreal was able to get that all in that top. Yeah, Renella at sixty. So he's getting a lot of gold. Yeah, and yeah, he, really sh I mean Ezreal's only down two k now instead of the three k initially. And yep, Holy he's still sitting at thirteen hundred. So oh, they're gonna get the sour bot lane, so that's more gold. Good, uh, might have a game in our hands though. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, they're getting they're, they're getting towers top lane. Like I feel like their win condition at the moment uh, at the moment is top lane because bot lane's about really you didn't get the gold, Yasso. What are you doing, <laughs> Yasso? You could have just taken that gold. What am I seeing? Well, wow, what a great pick from the mid laner. From yeah. The blue team. Yeah, and then Ezreal shoving the top lane. Yeah, I feel like their win condition right now, Jason, since they're so far behind, is the top lane. Bot lane struck. Bot lane hasn't taken any damage from the se the second tier turret hasn't taken any damage. First uh, mid lane still has their turret, but top lane's about to go down. So if they play around this top lane, maybe get an inhibitor, then they, that that's gonna be their win condition. Meanwhile, the the red team has uh, a lot of open space with mid and mid and bot being uh, fairly open. Oh, uh, and the Yasuo going in hard on this Rek'Sai. Yeah, this Rek'Sai. Fight the Yasuo, but I'm pretty sure Yasuo will win. Yeah, Yasuo will win this. Armor band and while wow, oh and the, dead three, wow that's very actually yeah the, the rotations oh, wow, I feel like mid. oh and the play mid is she dead is she dead oh, oh, and, oh my god is the is oh right. the redemption no 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 oh and the redemption and, yeah um, and there it is <laughs> and there it is the red team going like pushing back into their advantage uh the blue team's gonna be forced to the, the blue team's gonna be forced to back now because uh they lost more numbers so right now it's a four. Is it four? No, hold on. One, two, three. That's a oh no, that's a three, that's a three v three. Yeah, math majors, math uh, majors. Math <laughs> oh, oh man! If they would have gotten oh, that pick, that would have been so good. They still have the Baron buff, so they can still push lanes. They can still oh, push the event. Gonna look to try to get this Oriana. Wow! Oh, oh wow! Oriana pops the ghost. And what's the cooldown on E? Oh, he's up. Oh, oh no. no, she's not. He's not gonna do it. And he's probably dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, this, this, oh, this, he man. he committed way too oh. hard. Off his GA and get Can caught. he jump? Does he have a jump? Mm, he yes, he oh, wow, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Nope. Nope. And the snipe. Oh, and the snipe. Get sniped by the virus. That's unfortunate. Jason, we really got to work our system here because I feel like when we watch this VOD, both of us talking at the same time, it's just not going to work. So It's going to work. It's, it's not going to work. It's going to work. Ooh, and the Rex are going in hard again. And the, the ultimate. This, oh, the these Zhonyas. These Zhonyas. The Yasuo popping off. Popping off, oh, popping yeah, off. He needs to back up. He needs to kite back, kite back, kite back. Oh my goodness, oh the Yasuo. Yasuo is just doing so This Yasuo needs some life steal. He does not have that any. Four v five, friends. This oh, Yasuo yeah. needs life steal. He needs to have either a bloodthirster or a death stance. We got be, but he. This man needs it now because if he would have had like he's doing ex uh, like insane amount of damage even with his tank build, but if he had some life steal, he would literally have gotten it all back. It's. It's crucial on Yasuo to have some life steal at any point of the game. I'm gonna. Uh, I do agree with that. But however, the Maul Mamortis is giving him the lifeline, which is giving him 10% life steal whenever he's he's kind of low. So 10% pain and life steal will not apply. I mean, life gripping me. When I mean, but it's it's it's, it's 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 oh yeah until out of combat. Okay, so that makes sense. But still, I. I I just saw his health drop, and he he does have the backup. The the Morgana's doing a really good job of giving him shields, like the shields from the locket or the and the redemption. And they're gonna go for this. This is a really ballsy play, man. For the Elder Dragon play, this is really yeah. smart for the blue team. Wow, yeah. the blue team's actually caught up on gold, and they're gonna really benefit from this. Uh, oh, the Rexai go. Uh, the Rexai opts for a black cleaver. She wants to do more damage. She doesn't have wow. a single. She doesn't have a single MR item, which could be troublesome with the Ari like getting like getting to the mid to late late stages of the game. So uh, yeah. we'll have to we'll have to see. I really don't think she's full build. Which wow, holy crap, she's full build. It's we're not even at 40 minutes, but uh. And uh, with blue team getting this dragon, uh, they're gonna be doing 45 plus 45 per elemental drake. That's three. So Ma uh, George, do the math. What's 45 times three? 45 times three. That is 145 times three. That's oh, 100. Wow, that's 135 true damage per auto. So that's a lot of true damage stacked up. Oh, you gotta add 45 from that. So that's 180 
true damage. You said 45 times 3, and then plus yeah, 45? Then you, you got, okay, you so, plus so 135 plus 45, that's... Yeah, that's 180 true damage. That's per auto plus the physical and magic damage that each character is doing. So that's a yes. lot of that's a lot of enhancements from yep, all the other from all, all of their drakes. The dragon, so. Well, this could be really good. Yeah, so if they go push a turret, so see the Yasuo's top lane and oh come on, keep going. Just just why don't you take this gold? Do you I not mean, like Yasuo has the potential to gain caught, so I feel like this is a a good idea from the Yasuo, but <sighs> I mean, but I feel like he, I feel like if he backs a little bit closer, just so he can get like the local gold, he he would have had like he would have had a 200 gold from that and about 150 from the tier from the tier one from bot lane, and that would have been that would have been six that, that would have been about 400 gold, 400 to 350 to 400 gold extra that he, could, he, that he could have in his pocket just from that. Oh, they also right. full build I mean, as well. We, if we can look, if we could see a fight, this could be swinged by by the blue team. They do have roughly around 15 more seconds for... Ooh, ooh, the Oriana getting chunked a little bit. Uh, okay, it, look, it looks like the red team is looking for a fight, but this is not oh, advantageous. Wow. Oh, look, oh, look, at, look at, look at, look at Nautilus oh, melt. Look oh, at the Nautilus, Nautilus melt. Oh, the, this is not good for the red team. This oh, is not wow. good from the red team. They also I popping off with the ultimate. Uh, they kill the Morgana, the Morgana, the Yasuo, the Yasuo Yasu going in. Oh, too, too much tank. The Ezra was really far back. I did not see him throw a single Q in the fight. And yeah, like, no, no damage is oh, being wow, done to him. A good flash prediction, but at this point, I don't think, uh, I feel, I don't think they can hold this. Yeah, I feel like the Yasuo and the Kha'Zix are... I feel like the Yasuo and the Kha'Zix are committing a little bit too hard. They engaged really well and they chunked them in, but but the the Ari and the, the Ari can go in, but she oh look she's really low and she's probably dead. Oh and she, really good flash. Um, but I, like the Ezreal is sitting like really far back. I feel like he's really scared to engage, but uh, I mean they, they should have known at this point that the focus is definitely the 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 focus the focus target is definitely the the Yasuo. So I feel like the Ezreal like should feel like he has some freedom to do damage to the other to the other champions. But I mean, it's under. I it's under. Ezreal is at that point in, yeah. at the bill where he is going to do damage. Yeah, he already has a bloodthirster, which is 75 AD oh, plus. Wow. A, if, plus, if plus oh, can he do this? this? this Ooh, if they land the vine, can they bind the? Oh, and the Nautilus. Oh, wow. Ooh, can oh, they, they do this? Oh, he oh, lands the vine, and he's definitely going down. 100% dead. Yep, and he goes down, and that's another Baron play. <laughs> that's another. That's another Baron play. They're, they're gonna have to do this. Hard, they're gonna have to do this fast because you got super minions coming in from the bot side, and they're and they're gonna be pushing into their core. So they have to do this really quickly. Okay, their the Ezra. Core? Yeah, Who is this hot? <laughs> okay, they're Nexus. Pardon my French. <laughs> Pardon my. French. Oh, the the Rex oh, is gonna the Rex is gonna go for another Baron steal. They're doing it really fast. Oh, Rex side. And the Baron oh, steal from the Rex side. That's a Baron steal. That's probably game. Go for a reengage, I believe. Oh wow, Rek'Sai is gonna die from in Kha'Zix is, is at the back line. But they can and the Rek'Sai, Rek and the Rek'Sai! Rek the Rek'Sai Rek lives. Rek and this Kha'Zix, I don't know what it is, oh he wants the Rek'Sai, he wants her so bad. He wants her so bad. And he gets her, and the, the, oh, and wow. the Krugs what kill him, what that's unfortunate. Crazy. But Kha'Zix will die from this. And no, well oh, the GA proc, so he's he still alive. Die from this, but they, Unfortunately, the blue team did lose the Baron. Oh man, this is such an exciting game, Jason. This is such a good game. Oh, and I do oh. not know what he was thinking there. Face checking the, but I think he just wanted a ward. But still, uh, knowing like he 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 knew that they were chasing him, so I really don't know if like even attempting that ward was the smartest play. But I mean, oh well. I mean, red team is is grouping top lane to get this top tower. It's, well. I this could be pretty good. I a mean, few team gonna go by as a well few as team fights. A, a few team fights ago, I saw that the oh my god in the play. Oh, the oh wow! Wow, that man, those that, that was a really quick finger. The the Oriana of stacking the shield with the locket with the lo on top of the locket that Zarya has, and that that was just really good. Like the Zarya? cohesion. What is Zyra, this? Zyra, <laughs> Zyra, the Zyra hitting 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 the locket, and then. And then Oriana just putting the shield on top of her. It's just really good team cohesion right there. I think I think this is this is gonna be all three of the. Okay, no, never mind. The entire, sorry, uh, I just ate some water burger. Um, but the entire the entire blue team is up. So. Wait, you need water burger without me? Without you? Well, you didn't go to the land. Oh yeah, that's true. So who's who's the who's the bad guy here? Anyway, <laughs> who's the bad guy here? Okay. Hello. You. <laughs> Me? It's always you, dog. Like hey, hell I am. <laughs> like hell I am. Well, right now it's really passive. Uh, the Rexo is pushing waves mid. Yasuo's trying to push back wave stop because the super minions are coming. 
What's it called? The red team looks like they're going for a little bit of a, they're going for a gang bush here, I think. Nah, they're backing off. Okay. So they got <laughs> everything warded. Two two times as much farm as the Kha'Zix, and it's really showing off with the build. I Man. Mean, this Kha'Zix is just down four thousand gold. It's yeah, this this Nautilus is just tankier than t tankier than a US submarine, holy. I don't even know that if if US submarines are tanky, but I mean <laughs> it sounded cool when I said it. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, the shield's oh, on this Yasuo. Oh, Yasuo going into the team. He gets a two-man knockup. Oh, and they had a snare. Oh, the Zyra preventing. And, uh, oh. oh, and this is just not looking Yeah, good. I think that's GG. The Yasuo's... That is going to be GG for the blue team. Red yep. team just Too much tank. Really well. Yep. I really, I, I really like the red team's comp. A lot of utility, a lot of stunts, a lot of snares. The Oriana, one of the best utility majors in the game. You got uh, a really good utility ADC and Varus with the slows, the roots, and then just like a tons of damage from the Rek'Sai and the Nautilus just being like really, really powerful tanks. And, and that will be, that's, that is, GG, GG well played. Blown on the blue team. So GG no, well great. played for the red team. Really, really, really good game. Oh man, that was exciting. That was, that was a really good game. Off or what? Huh? <laughs> What is the stream? Is the video off or not? No, not yet. Um, oh, okay. Um, we, we we just do like final thoughts on this if you want. Um, uh, you can go ahead and go first. So I want to talk first off um, about why I did not like the blue teams the blue teams comp. So I'm pretty sure that uh, most of these AM tournaments are based off of like just just you playing your, with your friends. So they're probably playing what they're most comfortable with. But in terms of team play, when we're talking about team play here, you have Akazix who's an assassin, uh, Yasu, Yasuo, who's a who in this case was a fighter. Um, a Morgana, who's a utility, she was a utility support mage. Ari, who's a mage, a burst, not a bursty mage, but she's like, a de like more a uh, sustain mage DPS. And then, uh, and then an Ezreal, who's a mid game carry, who falls off in the late game. So, you're looking at this comp, and you're looking to snowball really early with the Kha'Zix and the and the Yasuo. But if you don't push your advantage, you saw how in the mid game they were they they were they were winning a lot of the team fights off off of the Yasuo. But as soon as the as soon as the red team spiked in power, which is basically when uh, the Rek'Sai and the Nautilus finish their builds, they, their engage is just disgusting. They go in, they put the ball, they put uh, Oriana's ball into either of them, and then they just get the shockwave, and then the immediate follow-up from the Zyra or the or the Varus. Like they, they knew what they wanted. They wanted a full lock-in comp, and it worked perfectly because all of the all of the of the blue members uh, all of the blue members uh, players were really really squishy. Um, so in terms, and I think I think this was really just an out drafting because the game was fairly even, like, and it showed, like, the mid game, like in the early game, they uh, they looked like the red team was having a little bit of an early of an early lead, but that was just because of misplay from the blue team. But then in the mid game, the red the blue team spiked. But then as soon as the red team hit that that unkillable status, uh, it was just it was it was no matter how hard because the Yasuo engaged really well. He always got two or three man knockups and then just did as much damage as he could. But it was not enough to kill anybody really. They had a they had too many shields. Like you can see, they had a, a redemption, a locket. Uh, Rajar had the Yomus, and then he also had the spell shield with the Edge of Night, which is a fantastic item. Uh, you have the the knockups from from Rek'Sai, and all of the, and the million like crowd controls from Nautilus to just keep him keep him away from the carries, which allowed them to do enough damage to just wipe entire the entirety of the blue team. So in my opinion, this was entirely like uh, they, they they lost this game from not entirely one like lost the game from the draft, but if they wouldn't have if they hadn't have misplayed so much in the early game, I think that they could have at least maybe gotten an, like one or two inhibitors, and then, and then like with rotations maybe like played off of that. But they the the game dragged on for long for long enough for the red team to just win. So uh, GG well played, uh, 80, 81,000 just about gold to eighty seven point five gold. So that's a pretty significant win. Um, seven seven, no six and a half six and six and a half k gold is a pretty pretty big pretty big uh, differentiator there. So. That, those are my thoughts on the game. Uh, Jason, anything you might want to care to add? Uh, just, I mean, you kind of hit most of the spots. I mean, I'm just going to really just talk about mainly the bot lane because uh, that's where I really specialize. So uh, for Morgana, uh, I saw that she was going for really ambitious uh, warding, and I felt like if they warded all together, then uh, they could have potentially caught someone with Morgana Bind and the follow with the ult. But uh, that's outside of that. But uh, Ezreal just... I mean, he just he scaled, but he didn't scale hard enough. And I felt like maybe the Last Whisper third item was probably the most crucial item, uh, or like the la upgraded Last Whisper item, because there was so many tanks, and he couldn't do really anything to them until possibly the late game. But ultimately, that's when they 
that's when the team comp loss is at the late game. But as you said, uh, they have not many tanks. I mean, you also did you, you were right, gang. The they did have a lot of engage, but uh, just that red team just had just way better uh, a better comp, better better crowd control, everything. They, it was just kind of like their their team was just good overall, and. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. I mean, Rage or, or Varus did do a really good job uh, doing this. So, And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. All right. Well, with those final thoughts, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you guys want to review the VODs, just get, hit me a DM. Uh, again, these tournaments at Lands are just for fun, but I'm pretty sure Team 2 is going to be pretty happy for winning for winning those that uh, Victoria... What, no, what's it called? Uh Tri triumphant. Yeah, Triumphant Rise and, uh, you know, those random... What are they called? The random... Uh, the random uh, icons, <laughs> yeah. So uh, and, we'll, they RP, dog. and they get oh, that's true. I forgot the the winning team gets like about a, like what what was it a thousand five hundred RP? Fifteen hundred, yeah. Fifteen hundred, yeah. So that's that's that that can get you some really nice like one really nice skin or a few cheap cheap seven like two seven fifty skins. Ah man, that's that's a lot of fun. So I will. I will try to stream a little bit more often if I can, like, maybe get some CSL games because I really enjoy doing this. I actually think I'm a really good analyst, not so much a coach, but uh, I really know, like, just from my, my, my mobile experience, I feel like I know exactly what's going on in the game. I, myself, am not a great player. I'll say that right off the bat, but I do think I have really good game sense. Um, so I will be trying to do this more often. If you want to see the VOD or review, just let me know. Uh, if you guys like the commenta commentating, um, I'm glad that you did. If there's something that I, you feel like I need to improve on, please let me know. Uh, and with that being said, I think that's a really good end spot. So this is Thinky. This is Thinky here chilling in the Thinky Gaming channel. And I will catch you next time. Peace.